This is officially the most accurate and reliable smart money concepts trading strategy I've ever tested. Its win ratio is close to 80% in the cryptocurrency market. The profit factor is over 7 and the drawdown is under 10%. By looking at these numbers, I can say this strategy is definitely worth mastering. So stick around till the end because I will explain everything you need to know about how to implement this method in your trading. I will show you examples of successful trades and the ones that resulted in a loss. I broke this tutorial into separate segments with timestamps. Let me know if you like this idea so that I can continue doing it in my future videos. This SMC strategy is based on two indicators. To add the first one, search for higher high lower low live by Lonesome the Blue. Once installed on the chart, open its inputs and change the zigzag period from 10 to 20. Leave the rest of the settings on default. The indicator number two is called Easy SMC. It is a premium tool, however, there are also free ones available, such as Smart Money Concepts by Lux Algo or Zyaman. The only downside of those tools is that they don't come with multi time frame order blocks. It is because of this unique feature that the strategy is so successful. Personally, I've been using Easy Algo for a while and the experience has been great. That's why I recommend them to everyone. After you've installed the Easy SMC to the chart, open its inputs and enable multi time frame order blocks. Select the 4 hour time frame. Once you're done, scroll down and uncheck fair value gaps and liquidity levels. The reason for this is to keep the chart neat and tidy. Before I explain the strategy's entry conditions, let's break down the features of these tools. So, the higher high, lower low. This indicates is a highly effective trading tool that helps identify potential trends and market reversals. It operates on a simple yet powerful principle. In a clear uptrend, price makes higher highs and higher lows, while in a downtrend, it makes lower highs and lower lows. Essentially, this indicator tracks price action in real time and identifies these key market patterns, helping you get a clear picture of the current market trend. When the price makes a new high that's higher than the previous high, the indicator marks it as a higher high, or HH. Conversely, if the price dips and makes a new low that's lower than the previous low, the indicator marks it as a lower low, or LL. When the price makes higher highs and higher lows in consecutive order, it signals a potential uptrend. Similarly, if the price makes lower highs and lower lows, it suggests a potential downtrend. On your trading chart, these points are typically marked with an HH for higher highs, HL for higher lows, LH for lower highs, and LL for lower lows. This marking system gives you a clear visual understanding of market movements and potential trend changes. The second indicator, Easy SMC, is a bit more complex. This tool is designed to help you follow smart money or large investors who are often considered to have a significant influence on market movements. The indicator is based on the concept that large institutional investors, due to their high trading volumes, leave footprints in the market. These footprints often show up as noticeable patterns or anomalies in price action, volume, or other market indicators. The Easy SMC tool consists of multiple components or features. In this particular strategy, I use four hour order blocks with an internal bullish and bearish activity and market structure labels. There are two types of labels MSS and BOS. The the MSS label stands for Market Structure Shift. A bullish MSS appears when the price breaks above the latest high for the first time. It indicates a potential trend shift from bearish to bullish. A bearish MSS label appears when the price breaks below the previous low for the first time. MSS are considered early trend confirmation signals. The same applies to these BOS signals, which stand for Break of Structure. A bullish BOS is present when the price breaks above the latest high for the second second time and more. For example, here the price broke above the latest high for the first time, hence a bullish MSS label was printed. After some time, the second breakout occurred. This is when a bullish BOS label appeared. There are also MSS and BOS plus labels. They signal a major swing high or swing low breakout. The second component of the Easy SMC are these order blocks. In case if you don't know, an order block is a block of buy or sell orders grouped together at a certain 
price level. They're typically created by large firms of traders or smart money due to the significant size of their orders. Here is a simplified step-by-step -step process on how an order block forms. The process starts when an institutional trader decides to enter or exit the position. Because of the large volumes of their trades, these cannot be executed all at once without significantly moving the market price. So they break down their orders into smaller chunks. The institution gradually accumulates or distributes their position. This process may take place over several hours or even days, depending on the size of the order and market liquidity. During this phase, the price often consolidates, creating a relatively flat area on the chart. The range of prices at which the institution has been accumulating or distributing their position forms what we call an order block. On a chart, it's often seen as a range before a significant price move. Once the big player has fully executed their order, the price will often make a significant move away from the order block. This happens because the large order that provided liquidity to the market is now filled. The price moves away from the order block, creating a new trend. Order blocks are significant because they often act as future levels of support or resistance. We should keep an eye on those levels because they can create potential trading opportunities, especially when the price returns to these levels, sometimes referred to as a return to the scene of the crime. Now, once you understand and how these indicators function, we can move on to our trading strategy. So the rules for long trades are as follows. First, the price returns to the order block. Second, buying volume should be greater than selling volume inside the block. Rule number three, a higher low should be formed when the price retraces to the order block. Finally, a MSS or BOS green label must appear on the chart. Following these rules, a long position should be opened at the close of the price bar. A risk reward ratio should be at least two to one. As soon as half the profit is made, adjust the stop loss to break even. Let's see how this trade plays out. In the next example, we see the price found a strong resistance at this 4-hour order block. Selling volume inside the order block is greater than buying volume. As a result, we prepare to sell the security. However, two more conditions must be in place. A lower high formed during a retracement and a MSS or BOS red label. Once all the rules are met, we place a sell order. In this example, the price doesn't reach our target, so we close the trade at a loss. No matter how successful the strategy is, losses are part of trading. You should always remember that. Now let's take a look at one more example. Here we have the same scenario. A price retracement to an order block with dominant selling volume, a lower high formed at the pullback and a breakout to the downside. This time, the trade turned out to be successful. All right, so this was the most accurate smart money concepts trading strategy. It works on shorter timeframes between 5 and 30 minutes. Definitely give it a try. Thanks for watching and till next time.